All right, holy, holy hell, you guys, check this out. In this video, I'll be talking about the new NECA Friday 13th Part 6 Jason Lives figure. This just arrived today, and wow, <laughs> I love it. This is so amazing. I, wow, <laughs> had I known uh, growing up this, that this was going to be released one day, I, I would have, yeah. I would have been ecstatic, and, and I am, as you can tell. Let's have a look at the packaging first. This is the box that the figure arrived in, with the lovely Jason Lives poster. I actually have that poster uh, over in the corner. It's not up on the wall right now, but it's just beautiful. Uh, fantastic. There's the side. And the back. Let's see, let's focus in there. There we go. Oh, wow. This is just fantastic. I love it so much. Uh, Jason Lives is one of my absolute favorite Fridays. It might be the one I've seen the most. Uh, I'm not saying a lot because I've seen them all like a hundred times each at least. Uh, so, yeah. There's the inside of the box. Uh, and you've got this... It's based on uh, Jason's tomb, or Jason's grave, which is just fantastic. If you look at the back there, you can actually see his grave. It's just, I love the way they've done this. This is just amazing. So amazing. Ah, I love it. <laughs> Can't get enough. Uh, incredible. Here's Jason in all his undead glory. He's got some blood on his shirt. He's got his pants. They're also stained with blood or dirt. He's got those uh, gloves and the tool belt, and you can actually slide the machete into the holster there. And I've also got his uh, combat knife, uh, which is kind of a Rambo-esque knife uh, in the holster already. It comes with a machete, uh, an interchangeable hand, which is very good for gripping things. Uh, it comes with this little uh, tombstone, which is a little bit small, but a very nice addition indeed. And you've also got this fence post, which uh, he uses as a weapon in the movie, and Tommy actually stabs him with the fence post as well. Uh, lovely detail on this figure. They've really captured the look of Jason, the mask, everything. That classic Jason Lives look. We'll take the mask off as well. And there's his awful-looking face staring back at you. Trying to focus here, sorry about that. There we go. Look at that. What a lovely rotting maggot head. Oh wow, just oh, incredible. Um, the mask itself, it kind of has these flimsy straps again. Uh, the part fours and part threes had sturdier straps but the good thing is it slides on very easily so you just kind of place it on his head uh, so I, I don't think it's very likely to break uh, if you're careful with it we'll turn him around as well he does tend to fall over he does not easy to get him to stand up because he tends to rock back on his heels that's a uh, kind of a tricky thing but there you go, there's the back of the figure right there. Just an amazing job, as always. I love it so much. Uh, a lot of people think that this is uh, probably not their favorite incarnation of Jason, just because Jason doesn't need a tool belt and he doesn't need gloves. I think it kind of captures the uh, sense of humor that the movie has. You know, he's this undead, unstoppable masked killer, and he's wearing gloves, you know? <laughs> so... Um, He's also got some blood on his shirt there. Just lovely. Just fantastic. No blood on the machete. And his hands are um, both in sort of a fist kind of pose. Uh, with the other figures, he had one hand open, which I really liked. Um, but uh, this has three hands total, and they're all closed fist. Yeah, uh, I'm just thrilled about this figure. I think it's just beautiful. Just a work of art, really. Um, you can get him to grab this fence post 
what you need to do is make sure you've got the right hand on and then you kind of slide one section in and then you can uh, you can just combine these two um, put them together but it's kind of hard to make them I don't think you can grab them with both hands though uh, that's a little bit hard but he can grab it with one so I'm, I'm not gonna do that now but uh, yeah it's, it's possible it is a little long I think but nevertheless a very nice addition to this figure yeah just lovely I'm so happy with this I think it, it's phenomenal uh, it did cost me a, a pretty penny I had to pay a customs fee too but hey it was totally worth it I am just psyched about this figure I think I think it's fantastic you could probably nitpick a few things He'd, it's hard to make him stand up uh, there's no blood on the machete blade I think that would have been a nice touch and I would have liked to see one hand open but I mean that's really nitpicking really really getting super nitpicky there because I think it's just a lovely work of art as always all right so for comparison reasons I've uh, brought some other ones got the NECA part 3 here blood soaked here we go NECA part 4 right there and the Jason lives figure which is part 6 he's a little bit taller than the other ones which is something I noticed straight away but that's just fine uh, otherwise it's beautiful detailing on all three and uh, yeah I just love what they're doing I, I feel like they're just getting better and better with every incarnation so part three is really nice part four is beautiful and part six is just fantastic I really hope we'll see a new blood or a, a Jason takes Manhattan those those two would be my most wanted uh, Jason figures if I had those I'd be set for life I think but this is just a fantastic addition so happy to own this and uh, yeah hope you uh, like this look at it too so yeah I'm gonna close up now and uh, uh, happy new year everyone have a great one and I will see you again with some other stuff pretty soon bye all right so just a bit of a bonus for you guys here he is holding the fence post and the knife very nice uh, switched out the hand with the tighter grip he's really holding on to that one and we'll just uh and we'll just grab the mask and, and he's down lethal undead mass murderer but he can't even stand up there we go there we are and he's got the mask on so quite Fantastic, in my humble opinion. Wow. <laughs> Happy 30th anniversary. Take care.